Peace, y'all. This is ICC representing X Clan like I always do. Today, I will be showing you how to hook up the Titan 1 along with the quick review. First, you put the Titan 1 into your console. You hook up your controller to it and then take the supplied USB cable and plug one end into the Titan 1 and the other end into your PC or laptop. You must download the software. I will put the link below to make it easy to find. Once you install the software, you can search for your console and game. If you can't find the game you want, you can always write your own script. Seeing as it's all script based, you can in essence do anything you want. This is a huge plus. It would be better than any modded controller as you can write your own code. You can program button combos to do anything you want or basically program any move you want. The item works on PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One and even personal computers or laptops. Once you find a script that you like, click download and then wait for just a moment. After it downloads, come up here to the top and click build and run. After you click it, you will see a dialog box pop up and you are good to go. If you downloaded someone else's script, you may need to go in there and read the notes. This way you can learn how to enable or disable certain functions. The biggest and almost deal breaking issue is the fact that the headphone jack on the controller becomes inoperable. You must use a Bluetooth or find a workaround. Another negative issue I have run into, if you accidentally unplug your controller during gameplay, the game will ask you to plug it back in. You must always have it plugged in while using the item. The Titan 1 has 9 internal memory slots, meaning you can load 9 different scripts maybe for nine different games, or maybe one game and nine different scripts. One good thing about this is, for example, if you like your PlayStation 3 controller, you can write a script to make it work on a PS4, or an Xbox 360, or an Xbox One. That would only be three different scripts and only take up three different memory slots. This leaves you with six more empty slots to work with. All you have to do is press the button on the Titan 1 and it will switch to the next memory slot. I want to clarify one thing as well. When I said you must keep it plugged in, I didn't mean into the PC. I only meant the controller. You can unplug it from your computer or laptop if you load the scripts on the internal memory slots. Overall, the item is very good when it comes to its potential, but the headset not working is an enormous issue. Combine this with the fact that the PS4 doesn't allow us to use most Bluetooth headsets, and the next thing you know, you're gonna have wires running all over the place. I found I ran out of USB ports on my PS4 because of all the things that were wireless are no longer wireless. I would recommend this item over a modded controller, but maybe wait until there is a model that supports headsets, or, Hope Sony has an update for the PS4 that will allow most Bluetooth headsets. If or when either of those happen, look for this to be the new trend. I think most people will have this over modded controllers. But anyways, I'm ICC and I'm out. Peace.